Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Crypto Vision. Here we see the Bitcoin and crypto market retreating, and uh, the BTC dominance is now standing at 68.2%, whereas the market cap is shrinking down towards the 213 um, billion dollars. It's not a good um, environment now for cryptos. Uh, it's all under pressure. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP all into the red. And Abe Nemro is involved with a money laundering scandal and they are being probed by uh, the OD. Um, they were, they were, um, let's take a look where it says. Anyway, they are cooperating in, with an uh, investigation. And um, it's uh, ironical because Abe Nemro was trumping, uh, trumped up the risk of unregulated cryptocurrencies early this year and uh, now it finds itself in the midst of a major money laundering scandal and um, today uh, Bloomberg reports on news of criminal probe into the banks at least fails to report suspicious transactions to adequately vet its clients and Eben Amro is still uh, more than 50% uh, state owned after costly bailout and they saw its share slump more than 10% today in Amsterdam trading. The Dutch prosecutor's office, office further revealed that not only does Abnemro face scrutiny of its alleged compliance failures, but also it is being investigated on, under Dutch anti laundering and terror financing laws. And exact details of the inve investigation have not been disclosed. And following warning from the Netherlands Central Bank, Abnemro has announced this July. They needed to conduct better due diligence into more all of its 5 million retail clients. It has already spent 220 million dollars uh, or euros to bolster its procedures in its consumer banking, credit card, and small business lending operations. And it will also take a provision 140 million dollars uh, euros uh, and uh, in Q2, in addition to 85 million in 2018. And the bank has indicated that it could face sanctions from authorities but noted that it couldn't prepare for a possible fine as the amount could not be estimated at the time. And as the Financial Times has reported, Abnemro has tripled its staff numbers to over 1400 in areas such as compliance, financial crime and anti-money laundering. And the situation uh, imperils the Dutch government's pledge to eventually sell off its 56% stake in the, in the bank and certainly is redoubled by the announcement of CEO Case van Dijkhuis to leave when his term ends in April 2020. If you take a look at uh, the price of Bitcoin, uh, here we see uh, the Bitcoin retracing more and even more and more and uh, below 9000 and also now it's trading even below uh, uh, 8000 uh, dollars so it's not a good uh, sign of course and if you take a look for another um, very important support area let's take a look where we can see it this 7900 and the, f the other one is uh, 7000 uh, more or less so maybe we can also uh, f see more and even more downturn in the market and uh, now it's trading around 7865 as you can see so 7000 is a key level, um, the next key level. Be careful in the market, I will um, say goodbye to you. Hasta la vista.